What is going on guys? My name is Muddy Wolf and I'm hoping the audio quality is good. I haven't tested this in a while, I haven't streamed in a while, so it is all gonna be uh new or not new, new again, different. It's gonna be it's been a while, but basically in this uh stream, which will start soon, I will be putting back up the starting soon screen. I do I do a little intro, but we will be uh yeah, we're going to be trying to build a game, um, not necessarily in this video, but over the month of October, because it is scary month. It's spooktober. It is Halloween month, right? It's Halloween, and we are going to build a scary game, and why not do it about our surfer? So if you're not a part of Discord server, you're going to be confused why we're doing a game about cheese. But cheese is a massive thing here in this game and we are going to be basically taking that and doing it now i do have to give you guys a disclaimer i have some people coming around to fix my internet soon and if they turn up in five minutes the stream will end in five minutes and i will have to start this stream again later on or something like that but i just wanted to get this started i wanted to get out there they said they're coming between one and six so it's any time from now until six so i'm going to turn the starting soon screen back on and i will be back in a short moment. Peace. See you in a second. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to the cheese game. Well, we're not quite sure what the cheese game is yet. However, we are going to be building a, a game where you're a, a mouse or a rat, either way. I'm not sure yet. And you've got to get cheese and there's going to be some spooks. It, it's, it's Halloween month and cheese is awesome. And yeah, so that's what we're making a game about. Uh, what's up, guys? How's it all going? How is everybody doing? It has been a while. Um, we're going to be getting inside. So we, we got cheese on screen just because cheese is cheese. Uh, but I asked chat GTP, right? I've asked chat GTP. GPT, God, I'm getting tongue twisted with just saying a name, um, about making, giving us a game idea, a basis to start with. And they have come up with the cheese hunting horror game. Um, and oh, if I, no, my audio is on. Uh, have come up with the cheese. Cool. It is working. It's just telling me it's not working for some reason. We're going to ignore that and pretend it's working absolutely fine. So here is the cheese hunting horror game which um chat gtp or ai has created for us so as you can see here in a spooky abandoned let's also bring this down i just noticed in a spooky abandoned again let's do a deeper voice <clears throat> in a spooky abandoned mansion filled with cobwebs flickering candles and mysterious shadows you play as a courageous mouse named munch munch's goal is simple navigate through the haunted mansion to find a legendary otherworldly cheese that's said to bring immense power and peace to the spirits within now i'm not sure about you but cheese cheese ai has come up with the best lore for this game like this this is a great freaking game idea, and I am like, good job, good job to uh, the uh, 
the humans at the AI department, you know, the ones who actually write all these messages. It's not real AI. We all know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, and it gave us some ideas, some tips for the gameplay, the objectives, and a note here. Uh, so let's just go through the gameplay things which it's come up with so far. Um, and that is the top down maze exploration. Uh, so that's that's what they're saying. But I'm not sure we're going to do top down here. This again, this all suggested uh, we we may change this all up. Right. I'm thinking we're going to change this game up uh, and come up with a really cool concept. The game consists of a series of maze-like rooms within the mansion. Each room presents a new challenge or obstacle to overcome. Which is fair, that's a cool, that's a cool idea. Limited resources and flashlight mechanics. So, that's, that's, he's already given us some sense. Munch starts the game with a flashlight that has a limited battery life. The flashlight is crucial for navigating through dark areas and revealing hidden paths. So, so far, this, this, this game idea that uh, AI has writ written for us is, it, it's thought about it, and I've asked it, I made it, I asked it to give us an idea that we can make within a week. So, I'm hoping this, this is something we can do within a week. Um, however, I'm giving us three weeks, because, uh, yeah, reasons. Um, the battery depletes over time, and when the flashlight is actively in use, players must manage their flashlight usage wisely to conserve battery power for cr critical moments. Now, I'm not sure why a mouse or a mouse named Munch needs a, a flashlight, but we're, obviously it's going to be a dark place, so I guess there needs to be some sort of lighting mechanic, and a lighting mechanic's a great idea. One idea I did have was an oil lamp, right? You had an oil lamp that was attached to something on your mouse body um, that depletes over time, and you have to pick up more oil to keep it lit. So I don't know. We can we can tweak and change. Just just similar. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same mechanic, but it's just different. It it you know it's different. It changes. We'll see. Anyway, the cheese fragments and progression. So the mansion. Oh, is divided into multiple levels, each with its own set of rooms and challenges. Cheese fragments are distributed across these levels. So instead of one whole other world godly cheese, you have to collect all the different flavors of cheese to make the one legendary other worldly cheese. Now I'm I'm already I'm sold on this. By the way, this is top notch content, right? This is this is what I've been missing in my life. The the cheese fragments. It's obvious. As players collect cheese fragments, Munch's progress is visually represented by a cheese wheel. I already was thinking of that. Bonus. This indicator fills up as fragments are collected, providing a clear visual sense of progress. Again, I like it. These are all solid points. These are all solid points. All right, puzzle elements and obstacles. Now, I'm thinking, right, we're a mouse, and... Puzzles are great for horror games because they keep you on your toes. You have to figure stuff out. But I'm thinking the main thing is more simplistic horror where you just have to get from one point. You have to explore a massive mansion or haunted mansion host or maybe even a haunted, I don't know, a haunted place where there is a ghost entity roaming free and if he spots you he will chase you and kill you um and you've got uh I, i'm not too fussed on how much puzzle elements we add in more just the the keeping you on edge as you're walking through and then suddenly the music starts ramping up because the guy gets closer the closer he is to you the louder the music is or so maybe i don't know maybe some different elements because then you'll you'll kind of feel on edge when he's near but more calm when he's not near some sort of sound effects maybe it'll become more the audio will go a bit more like fib vibrant fib vibrant vibrate -y? i don't know something like that i'm just you know we'll see um anyway each level introduces new puzzle elements or obstacles to overcome. Now, I'm thinking more obstacles. Maybe we could do some, like, a really cool first-person controller as a mouse or uh, where you can run, jump, and climb and do some different things, you know? Pretty fun. For example, certain doors might be locked. Now, that's not a bad idea. Require Munch to find keys or trigger mechanisms to proceed. Again, I like this idea. Door lock doors, easy to do, nice and easy and fun as well. Some rooms may have moving platforms or objects that need to be manipulated to create pathways. These puzzles add variety and challenge to the maze-like environment. Again, I like it. I like it. I'm not very much of a level designer, but honestly, I'm going to... Uh, 
this is going to be a very poorly designed place, but it'll be it'll work nonetheless. That's that's the main goal. Enemy behavior. So ghostly entities have distinct patrol patterns that players must observe and understand. Some entities might be attracted to sound while others move randomly. I like the idea, but I'm thinking the entity, a singular one, which roams freely, less of a path, but more of it will randomly pick a direction to go in. It will randomly pick a point in the place. If you're making sound it will come towards that place. Like maybe we can have mouse traps and stuff. And if you step on one or step on some sort of trap, it triggers like a noise where the ghost will then go to that location. I think that's a cool idea. Let me know whatever you guys think, if not. The entities may react to the player's flashlight. Direct exposure to light could make them temp temporarily retreat, but prolonged exposure might anger them. Not, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, but again, I, I'm taking less of the flashlight. The flashlight is just for seeing. Maybe we'll have some resource management where you have to find oil, and you'll, have, you'll see like an oil depleting over time when it's lit, and you can turn that off and on in different areas. Maybe, we'll see. Stealth mechanics. Munch can enter stealth mode, slowing down movement and reducing chances of being detected by ghost entities. That's fair. Less noise, if you know what I mean. Uh, the player needs to balance speed and stealth, deciding when to move quickly and when to take a cautious approach. Again, all fair. Sound cues. Implement a dynamic audio system that heightens the spooky atmosphere, eerie sounds and whispers increase the ghostly entities are nearby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Some sort of audio that tells you that they're, 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 they're close because that'll keep you on edge and then you won't feel it's on edge when they're not around. Incorporate environmental sounds to create tension like creaking floorboards or distant moans. Again, that's perfect. I like that idea. Unlockable abilities. Introduce a combat that finds hidden upgrades or abilities within the mansion. For example, Munch might discover a temporary invisibility power-up or a faster sprint ability that aids in evading enemies. I don't know about this one. I don't I don't I feel like abilities are such a They'd be, they're fun when they work, but you have to balance them really well. Otherwise, they end up being too overpowered. So we'll see. Cool. And the objective is to navigate through the mansion, collecting all cheese fragments while avoiding ghostly entities. Once all fragments are collected, reach the exit to escape the haunted mansion and claim the legendary cheese. That's pretty cool. I'll be one second. I just heard... I heard nothing. That's what I heard. Never mind. We're back. And then this is the sort of just the the what the it told me it, this game is about. And that's that's that. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Let me know what you guys think. I I'm curious what you guys think of this game. I think we need to flesh this out. So now I don't like the idea of top down maze experience. I think 3D 3D scarier than 2D. Right. So what we should do is uh oh don't ask ai i'm gonna change this to a 3d or fps a first person maze exploration maze like rooms each room's in new challenge obstacles don't come i think that's fair that may be potentially uh just like a large mansion and the cheeses will be random every time you spawn in the game so there'll be set spots the cheeses can spawn but they may not spawn there so each run is slightly different limited resources and flashlight mechanics again i like it i think we need to come up with a cool idea for a flashlight but flashlights are great because you can see straight right you can point it and it's where you point it which may be more scary or like because if you turn and suddenly they're so there that's good but if you have like an oil lamp it's not necessarily a straightforward it's a round it like it spreads out which again maybe it's only got a limited distance and the more oil you have the the further the light goes so you can as the oil goes down the light fades in which may be a fun little dynamic i like it we'll see cool So I think we're going to be building this game in um, in Godot or Unity. I haven't decided. I'm feeling more Godot because it's what I've been learning recently. 
Um, so I think I'm going to stick with Godot, but I just don't know enough about Godot to make this a great game. So I'm going to rely on learning a bunch of stuff off camera to actually come back to you guys and help you with this. I like it. So the next steps, I think, is we need to come up with um, a map for this, like some sort of like level layout. So how we think the level is going to look, we need a level design, we need um, we need 3D assets. Are we going to create those ourselves? I think we could. I think the player can just be a bean. I know we'll munch the mouse, but we can come up with his look later on. Maybe we can have a mirror later on that shows the actual mouse. That'd be cool. Would he be on two legs? Are we a two-legged mouse who walks like a human? Or are we a mouse that crawls like a mouse? That That's the main question I need to know. Because um, that could change how the player's movement works as well. The player needs to balance speed, stealth. Uh, see, speed and stealth, I think speed is a great thing. Stealth is obviously this main game. You don't want to be caught. You don't want it to chase you. You kind of want to... If it starts chasing you... We're going to make it so when it loses sight of you, it will um, it will stop chasing you, but it will go to the last location you were. So I think that works. Um, I think it will chase you until you get out of range or something, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, my hardest part is going to be making this scary. I feel like I'm going to end up making this less scary than I want it to be. I generally want it to be terrifying when the ghost catches you or is coming after you. I want you to have jump scares. I want it to happen. I think maybe we can add in a few trigger zones when you walk in a specific zone for the first time. A trigger happens that has a jump scare that alerts the ghost. So you have to not only have you just been scared, but you need to go hide before that ghost comes and finds you. I think there's a lot we can do with this. I like this cheese horror game. Cheese hunting horror game. I'm just going to call it cheese horror game. We don't know a name yet. Name is TBC. TBC. Um, temporary invisible powers. What we need is a whiteboard. So what? Oh, I almost dropped something on my head. That would have been bad. This is going down there. I knocked that off. Down there you go. And whiteboard time. So, I need a few where you guys can see the whiteboard. I need to set up a second camera so, like, I can switch to it, and you guys can see the uh, the uh, the camera. Right. So, we have a whiteboard, and I've, I've lost my pen. Here's the pen. Right. And let's let's switch to let's switch to a different few. Let's go to OBS and just watch it full face. Boom! Here we are. Welcome, welcome. Um, and yeah, let's uh, get working. Can I bring this further down? There we go. Ah, I switched to starting soon. I'm I'm great at streaming. I told you it's been a while, so this is going to be a very uh, a weird a weird thing. I did it again, didn't I? No, we're good. We're good. All right, so we need the cheese. We're gonna call this cheese horror. We'll come up with a better name later, right? We'll come up with a better name. So I'm thinking, right, you're a mouse. This is a mouse. This, it's, it's got his little feet. That's a mouse. It's got big floppy ears. Right, look, this this is obviously a great mouse. Um, and he is on four, is he, or do we do him standing up? Like, is he a stood up mouse? Like, is he, has he got big floppy ears, a big eye, whiskers? Uh, and is he stood up? Like, how is this, how is this working? Like, is that him? I don't know what we need him to look like yet. We don't. We don't know. Guys, I think the planning of this is going to postpone. I think someone is at my door. I'm going to check. And if so, we will end the stream.
we are good because that was just that was just my uh, a delivery so we can continue so as i said earlier on the thing if people weren't here i will have to end the stream as soon as the uh internet people come and upgrade my internet um so we'll hopefully you know it's all good but we are good i apologize for that quick short break all right so cheese horror we have a cheese horror and we need we have a mouse and then we have a ghost Right, our ghost is a really evil man, okay? He's an evil ghost. He doesn't like mouse, mice. Mouse, mice. He doesn't like either, right? Um, and he lived, used to live in this haunted mansion before he died, but he tripped on his own mm, cheese trap, right? You know, little traps with cheese on them, rat trap. And uh, he tripped and died. That's it. That's how he became a ghost. And now he's after all the mice in in his house because he's very angry about it that's that's the law he's a scary ghost uh we are gonna have to make the jumps get absolutely terrifying though so like you think you've escaped from him and suddenly bam he pops up and you're gone dead gone and dead and gone all right so cheese horror and if this is 3d right the ghost is going to be like transparent sort of see slightly see-through or we do him less see-through and more glowy so he's like more of a white glowy presence and he lights up a small area so you can kind of see him coming before he gets to you or we can make it so he's less he's less glowy and less thingy we'll have to see yo what's up Gar gargi kadika i apologize if i have butchered your name but we are dead and gone gone and dead just cat sorry about that uh, it, it is what it is he's dead he died he tripped um anyway um hey gargi and just a cat thank you for joining into the stream and you've asked us what we are doing we are planning a horror game about a mouse called munch who is after the otherworldly legendary otherworldly cheese fragments that make the legendary cheese, right? Listen, it's a great story. Um, and he is in a haunted mansion, house, something, a haunted something, and he has to escape the ghost and find all the cheese and then escape the mansion. Now, look, I'm going to just quickly, uh, I'm going to switch for the people who are back here, I'm going to switch back to screen recording mode, and I'm just going to, you know, we'll just... Then go down there, and I will give for those who haven't seen this thing. This is it. I'll I'll quickly read the uh, thing one more time. There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. We're all set. Okay. So, in a spooky mansion. Abandoned mansion filled with cobwebs, flickering candles, and mysterious shadows. You play as a courageous mouse named Munch. Munch's goal is simple. Navigate through the haunted mansion to find le the legendary, otherworldly cheese that's said to bring immense power and peace to the spirits within. That's the goal. So that's 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 the. This is generated by ChatGTP. Um, Luigi's Mansion meets cheese. Exactly. Um, it's it's a. Uh it's, it's the goal of the video. I asked ChatGTP to give us an idea. It also gave us some points on the things we should add. Um, so I'll just, I'll, I'll slow scroll this. You can pause and read them if you want to, or, you know, have a look. I've already gone through them all, so I'll go through them all. There's different mechanics like puzzle mechanics, obstacles, sound cues, you know, all the things. The unlockable abilities, again, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to add these maybe it's like a power up thing you grab and you get like 10 seconds of power up and it's gone for good you can't reactivate it i don't know something like that but we'll see um are you still using godot i am still using godot but we are still deciding what we're going to use for this i'm thinking godot i want to use godot but we will need to see um so also just so you guys know this stream will um this stream will actually end as soon as someone knocks on my door because I have a internet being upgraded. So if this could be ended abruptly out of nowhere, so I do apologize if that happens. I will let you know it's ending, but 
um, I will then start the stream again as soon as we're ready, as soon as my internet's upgraded. I might even be able to stream in 4K. Not that, that smart idea, because it'll just be really laggy for people who don't want to watch it in 4K, so you know. But yeah, so that's that's what we're making. So this this is what we're making, and hopefully it should be good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the, the chat. What do you think of the idea? While I take a sip of my drink. OP. OP. So, we... Oh, I have. Crap on me. Um, so, what, what do you think of the game idea? Do you like the game idea? Is it something you guys would want to play? Um, yeah. Just, just, uh, just you. Let me know what you think. I, I'm, I really liked this idea when it was generated. I'm, I'm a massive fan of cheese. If you've ever been in the Discord server, sounds rather interesting, actually. Thank you, just the cat, just the cat. That's it. I thought it was just the cat, like one word. I, my brain is not braining. Um, yes, exactly. Um, it's a great idea. I love the idea. AI is great for generating ideas, honestly. It's quality. Uh, so this this is it. We've got a, a mascot. He even gave us a name, Munch. The character's name is Munch. What a name. And he just wants he just wants the godly cheese. There's a godly cheese that he just wants to eat. And that's what we need to get. We need to make this for Munch. Otherwise, Munch is going to be sad. I need a mascot. I need something in here that's a rat or a mouse. That can be Munch. We don't, we don't have a mascot yet, but it's coming. I will get, oh, if I have to pre, if I have to order a special made animal, stuffed animal for this, I will. Don't think I won't. Um, yeah, so that, that's the game. And I think we should, this, this thing to explore. And this, this today, this first episode is going to be mainly just planning because I do not actually have a plan. After today, I am going to open, well, we can even open Godot now and get the project up. What, what do we think? Godot? I think Godot is a great shout, isn't it? I feel like Godot is the thing for us. Um, do I create a... Do I create a poll? Do I start a poll and allow you guys to pick? No, because I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of just want to use Godot. I'm going to use Godot. Apologies if I if you want me to choose something else. Uh, although Godot doesn't want to load. What? Godot, what are you doing? Why do you hate me, Godot? <laughs> We've never had these issues. We're just... She's jealous. Godot is jealous of something, obviously. I don't know what it is. Ah, there we go. There we go. All this. Perfect. Let's create a new project. We're going to call this... We don't have an official name yet. So the name is TBC. So, guys, if you have name ideas, jump in my Discord, head to the Cheese Game chat, smack whatever name you think it should be called, and we will we'll 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 think about it. Um, and then, yeah, um, I don't know what it's gonna be called yet. We'll 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 consider it and we'll we'll come up with some cool names. Um, hi Muddy, I finished school. Wish me luck to the maths test tomorrow. Yo, Mitko RX, good luck on your maths test tomorrow. Apologies if I just butchered your name, Mitko. Uh, Mitko, I don't know. I'm going to apologize because I'm terrible at names. I always apologize for naming. Um, but good luck. Good luck on maths. Just remember one plus one is two and you will be fine, right? Uh, let's, let's swap this to uh, D slash projects let's open this let's go to game development and let's just select that folder then we're going to name this to be uh cheese horror cheese horror for now that's because that we name. and we'll use git just create an ad and there we go this this is this is our base game guys how do you feel we we've started it it started it can now be an abandoned project if we wanted it to be we're not going to abandon it we're going to finish it i'm going to live stream almost every day any day i have a chance any time i have a chance i'm going to live stream and make this game for you guys hopefully it should be fun hopefully you can learn something as well so we'll we'll see as we go um now, I don't know what node to use for our, our base node. I found I'm just going to go for a, a 3D one. We're going to call this the main game. And this will just go in the root directory. And this this is the base, right? So this is our main game, right? This is where all the magic is going to happen. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm not, you know, I'm not I'm not so fast. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so 
We're going to need to make some assets. We're going to need to uh, build out loads of cool stuff. We're going to, I'm just, we're going to see what happens. I, again, I don't know how this, what's going to happen, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm hoping we can actually complete the game and make it really cool. Um, game setting, gameplay, objective, and notes. Name here. It's designed to be a short, engaging horror game. That could be developed in a week. So you can see what I asked for. This is what I asked for. And this is and this is the thing it generates. So if we can make this in a week, I will still be surprised. Uh, I mean, we can make a pretty rough prototype in a week, I guess. I think we need some focus points. Let's create a header. Let's, let's underneath gameplay, a buff. Uh, under, yeah, under here. We're going to go here. We're going to create a new heading. Heading one, we'll create focus points. Now, I think some of the focus points are going to be more tailored towards the, the main things we need. So we need the first person controller, right? That's a focus point because we're going to need to be able to actually... Uh, we, it needs to be first person. It needs to happen. We then need um, an environment, right? We need a nice haunted man... Haunted... Mansion. I think a mansion works, right? Like mansions are pretty scary. You think? Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm terrible at level design, so we'll have to see. I might have to grab some assets and steal someone's pre-made thing for now, and we can. Then I can hire someone to make it look better and our own later on. So we need a haunted mansion environment. What else do we need? We need cheese fragments. So we need cheese fragments slash a collectible. Um, and a total. So we're gonna say, how many pieces of cheese should we collect? So we're gonna make this game quite long, but we want each piece of cheese to be quite a reward, right? Do we, hmm, there's the question. Do we make 10 pieces of cheese? Eight pieces, eight pieces of cheese sounds like a fair, a fair starting thing. Maybe it's a difficulty slider. Maybe you can slide it up to say, okay, I need 10, I wanna be, uh, you know, I want it easy, so you only have to get six six slices of cheese, five slices of cheese. Then you're like, okay, no, I want to go to the medium level, and it'll randomly place ten levels of cheese. You know, let's let's just say between six, eight, and ten. Like they're the difficulty sliders for now, right? Um, and that that this we'll just put this in a uh, thing. Fragments. There we go. Cool. So that's that's a, that's a fair thing, I think. Oh, hello. Where we go? Boom. All right. Cheese fragments. So the next thing is actually the puzzles or locked doors. Now I like that idea that you actually have to find keys as well to be able to progress. So let's say a uh, progression blocking by lock or not blocking, but progression by locked doors, uh, locked areas. Um, keys required, something like that, you know, like, so you need to get a key, and then behind that key is a big freaking open new room, and let's say there's a parkour obstacle, so you actually have to climb up to get to the top to, um, to be able to get the thigh cheese, right, to be able to get the cheese. Also, I'm thinking the ghosts, the ghosts do not need to be ground bound, like, they do not need to follow the ground, they can fly, right? So they can create a part, so if you're climbing high, they can fly up to you, right? Like they have no problem doing that. I think that should be a valid thing. Like that should that's that's fair. Or would net or it's less parkour -y and more exploration y so you don't climb and jump, you're more on the ground level. We'll we'll figure this out once we get to the actual environment stage anyway. Um again the enemy patrolling, he'll patrol randomly, so we need enemy AI. These are the things we need to build and create. Audio, sound, sound effects slash atmospheric audio, right? These are key. These are going to be what makes a game scary. Honestly, sound is everything to a scary game. It really is. Um, stealth mechanics is kind of going to go in with the enemy AI, as in the enemy AI is only going to be able to see you if you're visible to him, etc. So if you're being stealthy in general, you're going to be more hidden. Something we can work on. We'll figure this out. If you're moving... And also noise. So... The enemy AI will be able to find you if you're making noise, and that stuff we'll we'll, we'll figure out. Um, in my dynamic order, yep. And then abilities. I think I'm going to delete this. We we don't need abilities. You know, I'm going to put I'm going to put next to it 
probably not going to add. Right, we're probably not going to add to these. We'll, we'll unbold this and we'll make it italic. So it's probably not going to add. We're not going to add a lockable abilities. I don't feel like it's necessary. Just, just more of a drag than, than an actual thing for us at this point. Um, um, yeah. What do you think? Is these the first focus points we need to create a first person controller, which is probably going to be quite simple because Godot is Godot and just for the uh just for a test we're going to add a child node which we are going to call a static body and i'm going to add in a mesh instance which will be a box um and we will swap this to scale mode which is this one right we'll bring it down uh can i i want to do on both uh we'll do it in here uh x10 z10 um, and then I'm just going to create a trimesh, uh, boom, convex shape. What is, what is your warning? Why is it non-uniform? It, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I did the wrong thing. Hold up. I, I changed the scale rather than the, this, you need to change this, not that. So that should be 0 0.2. And the transform, which will be in transform, should be zero. Reset that. There you go. Much better. Then we can create a simplified mesh. Boom. That's just a ground. This is just our testing ground. There's just something where we can run on. You can make cheese that is like a bomb and gets points from your score. Interesting idea. Thanks for the suggestion. Interesting idea. Trapped cheese. Now, that's evil, by the way. That is an evil suggestion. Because, come on, man. I'm not going to risk it. Even if it's trapped, I'm still going to try and eat it. It's cheese. Like, what do you expect from me? I have no willpower whatsoever. If cheese is put in front of me, cheese is being eaten. Um, it's just a fact. It is just a fact. Although, this box collider is, like, messed up. Why? Do, you know what? We're just we're going to add in a... Uh, uh collision shape 3d we're gonna just add in a box collision shape and we're gonna sell it to a 0.2 uh and 10 10 there you go perfect shape there you go much better rather than the other way game idea so p-o-t-r potter potter is that your name good name gg um here's the game idea so i'm gonna say the setting one more time, guys. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the gameplay. You can pause and just click on these and read them through. But here we go. So, <clears throat> got to clear that throat for this. In a spooky, abandoned mansion filled with cobwebs, flickering candles, and mysterious shadows, you play as a courageous mouse named Munch. Munch's goal is simply navigate through the haunted mansion to find the legendary otherworldly cheese that's said to bring immense power and peace to the spirits within. That's that's the game idea. This was generated with chat, chat GTP is AI generated. The game idea, I just gave it a simple prompt. This was the prompt, uh, The this literal sentence here is to create a game idea that we can develop in a week a horror cheese game idea we'll develop in a week this is actually what we come up with honestly it's a freaking top tier suggestion it's a great it, it was great um and oh i'm moving stuff now and these are the game it gave me all these gameplay points i've tweaked them a little now so a few of them might be slightly different but this this is what we've got um, so if you want to read those, feel free to pause them. I'll go real slow down them while, while we wait. There you go. So if you want to pause at any point, go pause. You can replay. This will be a replayable thing anyway. So if you want to know more about the game, you can. I'm obviously going to do a full video on this once we finish the game. Um, so a proper breakdown. So it'll be, it'll be there anyway. Uh, there's the objective. So there, there it is. Uh, it's pretty cool. We'll be building this in Godot. I've decided. I'm not letting anyone else choose for me. Because if I do, I end up using Unity or Unreal and have to throw Sanko all. Because, you know, I like I, I could do it in uni quickly but I mean it's just you know, we know the situation there anyway moving on um this is this this world building and we have until someone knocks at my door to tell me they're going to be break turning my internet off right <laughs> someone's coming to my door to fix my internet or upgrade my internet and once they do that this stream ends because you know that's that's as best this is what we're getting so this this is it this is the game this is what we got right so we've got this um 
and this is this is what we're making why is the why is the scale off stop oh it's because i've got it set to scale mode now here we go just have it on this anyway, so that, that's what we're making damn can't wait to play the finished game yo thanks pa i appreciate it um hopefully we finish the game and it's really cool and everyone wants to play it because that's that's what i see you know uh but we're gonna create a new scene and this is gonna be a free i create a 3d note that was supposed to be a character body 3d which we are going to rename to the player right we're going to have a player um and i am just going to say um all right have fun and good luck thanks potter man thank you for uh asking your questions uh and let's add in what do we need in here we need a, a simple we're going to have a collision mesh we need a collision shape right and i'm we all know what we're going to use we are going to obviously use a cylinder um and that is that and we'll move this up uh does that look good does that need tweaking do these things need tweaking or do you think that's good let's for what we're a mouse so oh that's that's not cool we're a mouse but do we, are we a standing mouse okay guys i have a question for you i'm gonna put a poll out right now right is munch standing or not right right so the, starting the poll now it's a yes or no question does should mole should should munch stand and walk around like a human so is he a humanoid with a little hat and stuff or is he a like an actual mouse and is he on all fours like what what are we saying because i do not know i'm i'm curious uh, i think we should it would be fun to do a standing sort of mouse because we will create an asset for him later on and we can use him in other games and such as a, a mouse that stands on two feet. That's after the uh, the cheese, the grand cheese. Or or not, we'll see. We are the mouse detective. Munch is a mouse detective. I don't know. That's I feel like I'm just ripping off loads of people's ideas there. Uh, but let me know. You, you guys pick. I'm going to stick from standing right now, but we will find out, right? So this is just going to be his collision shape. That's fine. We then need a new... Inside of here, we need a new... What are we going for? Do we need a node or... Yeah, a node 3D. This is going to be his head, right? He's going to have a head, and this is also going to be up here. Not like that. Uh, 1.8. 1. Uh, 1.75 that's that's where his head's gonna be uh oh save the player yeah we'll save it we'll, we'll tidy this up later as well so guys don't forget to vote on the poll guys i need to know i need to know what we're doing uh and then we need a 3d camera yep standard 3d camera that is facing the right way yep is that the way we're supposed to be facing that's fair uh and there you go that's in our head component yeah perfect there we go so that is there we have um so we should if we click on this camera view there we go that's what we see uh fof i'm gonna stick to like 80 like too much fof is probably too much but that'll be our starting fof we'll allow we'll have a fof slider we'll, we'll allow you go to like 90 maybe but not too much not too much muddy i was a unity user for around a year and i learned a lot from your tutorials they're amazing but i switched to go dot and i learned it by making a retro shoot game your godot store is amazing too thank you mitko rx i appreciate the kind words i'm happy you're enjoying godot um i'll be continuing to do more godot tours more stuff is coming actually a lot of stuff is coming and there's a reason for that but i cannot announce it yet i'll be announcing it on friday the 13th odd day to announce something right friday the 13th i have some news it's coming out and i will let you all know what's going on but there'll be a lot more content. Let's just say that. There's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of streams, a lot of uh, standard videos, a lot of tutorials. Let me know what you guys want and I will I will create it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Um, but here we go. So this, this is our player for now. This is this him. He's he's simple. He's, he's great. Um, and if we're doing him stand up, which people are saying he's standing, right? I can see the poll has already got 100% on standing. Um, if he's going to be standing... Is he holding the oil lamp in front of him or should we just do it that you turn it on so the oil lamp's on? I don't know. We'll figure that. Again, that's something we'll figure out coming later. But go back to our main game and let's just drag in our player here. Like, just drag him in. There he is. Our player's in there and he needs a controller, actually. 
So he's now in the main scene. Obviously, this isn't going to be out of the structures of the game. I'm just saying it here just so we have it ready to go. Um, but let's let's come back here. Let's go to here. Let's uh, attach a script. Now, we're going to template this from our character body movement, although we'll probably go change quite a lot. Uh, I, I should probably go get my... I have a... We're going to find a script that makes the movement real good. I think we'll find one. That way we can think it. And then I'm just going to name this player.gd. Capitalize scripts, guys. I don't know why. It's just a thing. I capitalize scripts. Uh, and yeah, create. So that that's that. If we save this and we just hit play, cancel, we need to set the main scene. Uh, this is going to be our main scene. Set as main scene. Hit play. And there you go. So, oh. Oh, I need to use these keys. There you go. I can walk forward, back, left, and right. I cannot look anywhere yet, but that's that's that. Cool. So that's working. We then need to go into funk ready, and we need to set the mouse input dot mouse input dot mouse mode is equal to input dot mouse mode captured right so that should move our map we shouldn't be able to see our mouse now it should be stuck to the middle of the screen which is good that's what we want um and then we need to actually make him rotate towards this which is fine this is gonna be good this is gonna be good so what let's have a look so go 3d character move 3d character fps character script Let's have a look. Let's have a look what people go. Because honestly, there's someone's already done it, and I don't think we need to necessarily cop. Oh, we don't need a gun. We don't need anything like that. We just need a simple body. Yeah, this is this is simple. Let's have a look. What we got on the internet here today. Three D FPS. Oh, I probably don't need that, but four FPS controller. Jump speed, mouse sensitivity. Yep, yeah, these are all things we're definitely going to need. We got the full script. Let's go for it. We're going to copy this, go back to our GD. What we're going to do is just going to add this in here. Um, saying that, we are going to add and then we're going to copy this and move that up because that needs to be done. And then we should camera 3d so what we need here is this needs to be let's get a reference and this oh we need to actually be on a player here we need to get the head and we need to drag that in there oh no delete that drag that hold control there we go and where we've got any of this we're just going to change it to head and we don't need the animation right now. Let's hit play. Let's see if this works. This should work. Oh, we've got 50 feet. So there we go. We could now... Oh, I forgot. I need to add in the um, these. Left, right, forward, and back. So project settings, uh, input map. And let's add forward, backward, left, right. Uh, and then for forward, we're just going to add W again. we we'll probably add some sort of map to this later on. B for back. A for left and obviously D for right. Close, uh, forward, and I'm gonna put backwards because that's kind of what. Back to me is like pressing back on a thing. Also, I've noticed standing or not, it's gone 50-50. So let me, let me know what you guys think about that. Let's hit play and let's see. There we go, now we can move better. Oh, we also need jump, right? Jump, yeah, so we need to set our jump as well. Spacebar, hell yeah. Hit play, let's have a look. 
There we go. Obviously, there's no light in this world. So what we need to do is go back to main game and um, go back to 3D world. Go here and just say add sun, add sun to scene um, and just also add environment to scene. Just so we have it. So when we hit play, we can actually see what's going on. There we go. Now we can jump around. It feels pretty good. Um, we'll probably tweak all these and we'll make it better. This is just so we can get a prototype going. Um, quicker we get a prototype going, the better, by the way. It'll be so much better once we get one set up. Um, I like this because you can proper tweak all the settings here. Da -da. Um, sorry, I, I get I get proper. Uh, there we go. There you go randomness i don't know i'm not sure what i'm going for here i shouldn't be black it should definitely be maybe it should all be black there you go i just want to see what it looks like when we're in game look at that there we go little sky box a little purple and then it just fades down obviously you're probably not even gonna see the sky or the sun because we're gonna be in um we're gonna be inside but i just want to add it i want to add it there um so guys, what do you think so far after what we're coming up with? What do you think of the game idea? So the main thing of this I want is for us actually to have a proper game idea ready to go. And then I can plan out how I'm going to do all the scripts, how I'm going to do all of the things, and we can actually come back to this with more of a plan. So this, this is it so far. So far, we only have one vote for um, for uh, is Munch standing or not. I think he should be standing now I think about it. So I also cast my vote to yes. So if no one else votes, I will probably stick with yes, he is standing. So that way we can actually, um, if he is, if we, if we are voting for that he is standing, then, um, I'll do it as like, he's a cool mouse character, which stands up. Let's do standing mouse character. Let's have a look. What, what sort of ones we got? <laughs> yeah. He'll probably end up looking something like that, but not as good, really poor version of that. But like, Look, we got our little mouse guy. 3D. Let's do 3D. I want to see. I want to see what people have come up with before. Wow, that is amazing. Imagine if we have... Oh, he can have a little raincoat. Oh, I love that idea. Can we make him have a raincoat? That's so cool. So cool. Do a standing rat. Because I feel like more people would have made a 3D rat for some reason. A rat to you there. What is that guy? He would mess you up. You do not want to come across this guy. He's there to steal your cheese. Like he is just he's here to ruin your day. Oh my god, look, the, the bloody coats are adorable. I I can't oh, he's got cheese. See, this is the sort of mouse we need. The mouse who wants the cheese. Right? Honestly, the raincoat mouse is is adorable. We're going to have to have the raincoat mouse, guys. It's going to have to happen. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, guys, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Bold of me to think there's any ladies or gentlemen here, obviously. Um, just human beings cheese lovers we we are we are on the track here so today i'm gonna end the stream here just because i'm pretty sure i can hear a cart pulling up and i now need to get on with some other things but tomorrow if i have chance i'm gonna stream again although i may not have chance tomorrow but friday i'll definitely be back to streaming again um we are going to actually start building out just a prototype of this game. The mount, obviously, we've all got a slight 3D controller, but we want a small environment. Maybe just we'll grey box an environment out. We will, um, yeah, we're gonna grey box an environment out. We're gonna add in like some building elements, and then we'll probably even try and make an enemy AI as well, follow you and chase you. And then we'll also add in some interactions to grab cheese. So you click cheese and maybe grab it. We create 3D models. We can do some messing around. We'll see what there is. Let me know what you guys want to see though. Let me know down below. Let me know in the comments. Um, <clears throat> 
my voice is going now, so it's perfect timing. But, guys, this is going to be the end of this one, and I'm hoping we can start building this game out and making a really awesome game. I may do some things behind the scenes just to make these videos less boring, because these streams are just literally raw. This is just raw me spilling my brain out into the camera, basically, spilling my, my thoughts. So, guys, let me know what you think, and, yeah, that's going to be it for this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.